There are many, many paintings and sculpture of the historical Tibetan figure Milarepa, the great poet, saint, mystic, ascetic yogi of Tibet. But when you have a really large amount of art, you have to divide it between sculpture and painting. And when you have a lot of paintings, you have to do, divide them between is something a single composition or does it belong to a set of three, five, 15, 19 paintings? And then after you've done that, <clears throat> you kind of have to go through and decide what are really the best aesthetically uh, by uh, artistic skill. What, what are the best, let's say five paintings of Milarepa that, that we know of currently? Well, <clears throat> we do have, have some that we can, we can choose and uh, they're really quite remarkable. The first one and going chronologically, is uh, a single composition from what we know uh, from studying the, the, uh, the narrative and the iconography of the painting. And it appears to be from the Riwoche Monastery or Riwoche region of Kham, Tibet, and uh, 16th century. Now the second is uh, a little bit more unclear because it could be either late 17th century or early 18th century and very likely from Karmagun Monastery also in the Kham region of, uh, of, uh, of East Tibet. The third painting is, uh, is somewhat well known because there are at least three other sets that are known <clears throat> to be based on that compositional style uh, with, I believe, 19 compositions in each set. Um, and uh, this painting is from the Chamdo region. It could be Chamdo um, town or it could be uh, uh, just the region itself. And it is uh, late 18th or 19th century. <clears throat> and uh, by far, one of the more popular uh, compositional uh, iconographic sets that we know of because of the number of copies that have been uh, located. The fourth painting is also from the Chamdo region, but a different workshop, um, but also dated to 18th, 19th century, and it is from Again, uh, a painting set, but likely to be three paintings uh, based on the number of uh, small narrative vignettes contained within the single composition that is known, which covers approximately a, a third of the life of Milarepa. The fifth painting is uh, from Palpung. It's in a Palpung monastery style. We don't know if it's from Palpung monastery, but it's in a Palpung monastery style, late 19th century. And... Uh, us from a set of three, but Milarepa is only found in one, and the other two are other um, uh, lineage figures from the Karmakagyu tradition. So these are the five most extraordinary, most amazing, um, uh, aesthetically beautiful, and skillfully done, uh, five amazing masterworks of Milarepa. So, press the like button, you can subscribe, you can join Har on Patreon, and very importantly, you can make a donation to Himalayan Art Resources on the homepage, on the Har homepage.